Hi, welcome back to Second Amendment on a Budget. My name is Jerry. Today we're in the beautiful BLM land of western Utah. Uh, we're going to do a little shooting. Have you ever wondered what are the mill dots in your scope used for? Technically, they're supposed to be for holdovers. But what's the value of the holdovers? If you're using a second plane, focal plane scope, your values are going to change as your magnification changes. So today, I brought the AR-15 and 223 out, and I brought the 6.5 Grendel out, and I also brought my Thompson Center Compass 243 out. Let's give it a try. Okay, I'm going to fire a three-shot group at the target on three power. Then I'm going to move to the first stadia line, uh, mill dot if you will, but on this particular scope they're uh, horizontal lines. So I'll fire a three shot group at that, then I'll move up to the next one, I'll fire a three shot group at that, uh, so on and so forth. I verified my uh, velocities with my chronograph. I'm right at 3,000 feet per second, which is pretty good for Federal American Eagle uh, planking ammo with 55 grain ball. Um, this is just range brass at 3,000 feet with a 16 inch barrel. Uh, the box says 3240, but you're not going to get that with a 16 inch. It's bottom left, left targets using the crosshairs. Next three shots I'll use the first stadia line. Uh, the next three shots I'll use the second stadia line, so on and so forth. So here we go. Next stadia line. This is the third one. Okay, fourth stadia line. Okay, let's take a look at what we got here. Okay, this was our first group at 100 yards on the crosshairs on three power. I think you'd say that's fairly zero. I mean, that, that, that's pretty much in the, in the ballpark. My second group, uh, the second stadia line, or the first stadia line below the crosshairs, was right here. Um, I've got it circled. This would be my third group. Now, understand, I'm going pretty fast, but somewhere right, right about here.
Now we're going to try the same thing at 9 power. Let's see if the values change. Uh, this is a 3 by 9 Barska scope. It's a cheap scope, but you can do this test yourself uh, with any scope you have. It has mill dots or the stadia lines. Let's see where we hit. Bottom target first, then we'll go to the second stadia line, then we'll go third, fourth, uh, the same as we did last time. Okay, second stadia line. If I can get settled. Okay, I'm still trying to get settled in here. I'm trying a different approach here, but still, second stadia line. Okay, third stadia line. that one. Now the fourth stadia line. Okay. Let's go see what we got. Okay, I kind of pulled that first one right here. But if you look, this was my first group. No, I'm sorry. This was my first group right here. This was the second stadia line right here. Here's the third stadia line. I was trying to uh, get settled in. And then here's the fourth stadia line. As you can see, the values are completely different. You're, you're talking from the first group to the second group about two and a half inches. About four inches and roughly eight inches. So that is a big difference from all the way up here at 26 inches from last time. So you need to understand the correlation between your magnification when you're shooting and how much over you're going to hold and let's try the uh, Grendel next. <laughs> 